Hey, it's Ben, and this is Dreambo by Beep Street. Um, this video is going to be about using the frequency shifter module, uh, which is under processors, uh, to do your own FM synthesis without using the FM operator module. <laughs> um, and it basically just lets you use whatever oscillator or sound source you want. Um, and it can be kind of fun to like build it on your own, basically. Um, so the reason that you can't just do FM um, directly to an oscillator, um, I don't understand the math or science behind this, but some oscillators I think are exponential in terms of their FM and some are linear. And I think it's exponential is the one that goes out of tune. So here I am doing FM um, with an oscillator on the tuning of this oscillator, which is the one we're hearing. And as soon as I go up a little bit, it's totally out of tune. So it can still make cool sounds, but it's not useful if I want to do like traditional FM synthesis, like DX style FM. Um, and that's just the way the oscillators work in Jambo, and that's okay. Um, frequency shifter, however, is, I think, linear FM. Uh, and please correct me if I'm wrong uh, on here, but I think this is linear, which is the type of FM that stays in tune. So now I'm using the same oscillator for here, just another sine wave. The timbre changes, but it never actually goes out of tune with the note that I would expect to play. So here I can change the dry and wet. Um, so that's really it. Um, with frequency shifter, you can change the range of modulation. So you can have like a really low range where you can't even hear it. And then you can have just like an insane Range, which is still basically in tune. Um, I might bring that down a little bit. Um, and, you know, that's just using signal directly from another sound source. If you want to build like a DX style kind of operator, what you would probably want is an envelope on the FM source, which in this case is my oscillator three. So what I would do is, what I've already done, is create an amp envelope for this oscillator, which is going to be my modulator. And I guess we would call oscillator 2 the carrier. So that's going into the frequency shifter. And that's what we're actually going to hear. So that's like a raw oscillator. And then we're going to modulate the amount with not the oscillator, but the amp envelope. So now I can create an envelope on the modulation. So it could just be like an attack on that. That's cool. Um, or we could have longer attack and sustain and release. And of course, this will work in poly too. And I don't know, it's a lot of fun. So you could do this with a sampler. Um, let me throw in sampler. We'll use just one of the presets, like the string ensemble. Maybe, why the heck not? So we have our string ensemble. You can self oscillate too, or like self modulate. So we'll just modulate the string ensemble per voice um, with the string ensemble sound. I don't know what that's gonna sound like. Still in tune. Sounds kind of weird. Maybe what 
what we could do is um, kind of duplicate this and drop the pitch down one of them. We'll modulate with that. Let's see what that sounds like. Hey, that's kind of cool. So it's using the same samples, but pitched down to do FM. Gives it a little deeper sound. Still go crazy. You could end the envelope into this. Um, it might even sound cool if we used a filter. And these are all things you could do with the FM operator, but you're not locked into using just a sine wave, uh, like a square, and a saw. Um, you're using whatever sound sources you want. Let's do a filter. <laughs> Doesn't always sound great. Sounds kind of cool. Um, but that's how you can do your own like linear FM using the frequency shifter. Um, so only other thing I would mention that you might want to try is I'm going to go back to just like a simple sound source. So if we change this into a mono signal, right now it's like one voice of this oscillator or another sound source doing FM on the frequency shifter. So the, the modulator and the carrier signal are related um, in their frequency. If we convert this to mono, using the poly to mono signal, and then put the frequency shifter after, it will be all of the voices combined into one voice, going through one frequency shifter, and then we can self-modulate again. So let's see what that sounds like. So it gets kind of nasty real quick, but it sounds cool. the amount of FM going in. So we can get an LFO. Maybe it'll go kind of slow. So that's going to be a little bit dirtier because now it's sort of like in harmonic um, FM versus harmonically related frequencies modulating and being the carrier. Um, so anyways, uh, that's how you can use the frequency shifter to create a FM synthesizer.